Hello everyone, Melissa here, designer for Drabello's Designs. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how I've made this card. This is a DL size card and it's using some of the new acrylic sprays, some old stamps, some new stamps, a stencil and some micas. I'm calling this one hanging around. Um, so for the supplies needed to make this card, we're going to start with the new Lavinia acrylic sprays. I have them in sun yellow, chartreuse, emerald green, and burnt umber. For the stamping, we're going to be using Versafine Clairs in Nocturne, Rainforest, Monarch, and Warm Breeze. You will also need the Versamark water stamp pad for the micas and I have a different brand of mica. I'm using a shade called Mink, and this is a Pearl X, but you can use any kind of a brownish tone that you have. The stamps are Lavinia stamps. We have Rue, Lavinia LAV 515, Spanish Moss. This is a set of two, it is LAV 505. The flower pods. LAV 730 and the stencil is by Lavinia Stamps. It's called Stone. You will also need some multifarious card and I have this pre-cut which is DL size. It is bigger than my card base. So my card base is also a DL card. This is four by eight and a quarter. I'm going to mount it on a black card, which is just black craft card. It's about 60 pound weight. I have that cut to three and a half by seven and three quarters. And then I'm going to use the, the multifarious card and I'm going to cut that down to three and three quarters by eight inches. You will also need your acrylic stamping blocks, some adhesive to glue them all together. This one that I'm using is the Ultra Bond Dries Clear um, Craft Adhesive. You will need a heat tool to dry. For the yellow in the fairy pods, flower pods, excuse me, I always want to call them fairy pods. I'm using a yellow Posca pin. Also for some glitter on her wings, I'm going to use a clear jelly roll pin. This is a white pin by Signal. Um, you'll need some, a brush for your mica sprays. And, oh, you'll need a smoothie or something to apply your Versamark ink for the stencil. And I think that should just about do it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with the sun yellow at the top. Just a couple quick sprays. And then we're going to go on with our chartreuse. And you can see there's color on the bottom. So you kind of want to give that a, a shake. And then we're going to move on to the emerald green. I'm 
should just place that there to hold that down. <laughs> Okay, and we're going to give that a quick dry. Okay, so sprays, they make a good mess. So be aware. But they're nice, they're smooth. They're easy to work with, gives a fast background. And now we're going to stamp with our Rue stamp. I have her set up on my stamping platform. If you don't have a stamping platform, of course, you could just use your acrylic blocks. And I have her kind of at an angle with her toe pointed more up. So that'll work nicely. I'm going to ink her up in the Versified and Clear Nocturne with just some good little taps. So I have noticed when you're using these sprays, the acrylic sprays, they do take a bit longer for your stamp to soak in and penetrate into the card. So give it a good press and be patient. Do not lift it up too early. It's kind of, they remind me of working on oxides where they take a little bit longer. But if you're using your platform, yeah, you can see there that it's missed a little bit. So I'm going to ink up again and be very careful not to move anything. And I'm giving this a really good press. Probably don't need to press it as hard as I'm pressing, but <laughs> I think it's a habit. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Give that a quick wipe down. Set that off to the side. I'm just going to bring in a stack of paper here to help with that glare on my glass. So I'm going to give that a quick quick dry. even blot it. And since it wants to curl on me, I'm just folding my paper over it and giving it a good little blot. And you see how much came off just from a blot. So they definitely are a bit different. Okay, moving on. On the other stamps, it's not going to be such a dramatic blot, but it'll be okay. Okay, so moving on. 
We are going to stamp up with our moss first. And I'm going to start with the thicker moss, the Spanish moss with the more strands. I'm using VersaFine Rainforest. Now we're going to get a good first generation stamp. And we're going to let that be a little to the side. So those stamp nice. And I'm going to just come up a couple. And then I'm going to come over to the other side on this side. And do the same thing. Then we're going to take our longer, skinnier one, still using the rainforest. I'm going to do first and second generations at all different levels and going in all different directions, kind of. So it just goes all the way around her. Okay, and now we're going to move on to our round area and we're going to use the fairy pods. And I like to start with the taller one first and I'm going to use the monarch. that up and do one there. I'm gonna do another one second generation up a little higher. Up again, and put another one right there. Good. And maybe we'll do another one right there. And then we're going to use the little shorter one. And I'm going to ink that one up in the Warm Breeze by Versafine Claire. And we're just going to kind of fill in a few spots, going in between at different levels. Because the Versafine, the Warm Breeze is a lighter color I'm not going to do second generations of that and now I have the grass that comes with the flower pods and I'm inking that up in a rainforest and I like to just go where the V comes down and go right over the top of the stem of the flower. And you can turn those in different directions if you want to just have 
maybe two. You can just go right in between those as well. I'm going to do that one in a second because I'm going to go over that. That one there too. So now I'm just going to fill in the ground area with grass, just kind of going every which way and just fill in. And I'm going to give those a dry. And a quick lot. We're going to go over our stenciled area or over our stencil over the ground area with our stencil and I'm just going to use my smoothie and I'm just going to pick that some ink up on the corner and just pounce it through there, just along the bottom. And with your mica, just take a paintbrush, move that off to the side, so you can see where the stones are going to be and you're just going to rub your mica over those stones Now this will stick to anything that's still wet, which is okay because it's going to give it a nice effect. Give it a little shine. Now I'm going to use my sweeper brush, which I forgot to mention in my So now I'm going to add some dots in the windows for some light. And this kind they're kind of hard to see. Oh, it looks like there's little lights on. And just give that a second to dry. And then we're going to use our jelly roll pin and clear. And so I don't stick my hand in that, I'm just turning it over. And I'm just going to dot her wings. The little openings. And 
And using the white pen, I'm going to go over the top and then just blend that down into it. Okay, so now I'm going to use my smoothie and I'm just going to go around the edges. I start in the corners first and I'm just going to blend that in. So ultra bond cult adhesive and oh. so this. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little demonstration. Um, this is the first card I've made with the new acrylic sprays. Um, this is the one we just made. This is the one I made yesterday. I just wanted to give a quick example of a card using the new sprays from Lavinia Stamps and my first thoughts of them they're very nice bright vibrant colors they are different than your regular ink sprays are different than any other ink i've used i think that's because they're acrylic and not just an, an ink um so they take a bit to dry to be able to stamp on and these the ink for your stamps take longer to dry and soak in as well. So keep that in mind. Um, but if you have other sprays, other inks, you can make the same design with something else if you would like. But I hope you guys enjoyed that today. Thank you so much for joining us. As always, if you're on Facebook, uh, please follow us on our page. We have two. We have Del Bellows designs lounge where we showcase our Lavinia card makes and we have Del Bellows designs all la carte for the other crafting supplies that Patty carries in her store. There are a lot of very wonderful people and such great inspiration so please 
check it out. If you like this, please like, subscribe to our channel for a lot more information and wonderful tutorials. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.